Okay, I'm going a little bit nuts because the announcements are interrupting me like a hundred times. But so today what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take you from the tin can phones um, to through electricity. Like how, do this, how does it work with speakers and uh, with microphones? And so let me switch over to this drawing I, that I have here. And the title is, How is a phone line like a motor and a generator? So let's start off with a regular old person in a tin can phone. So the sound makes the cup vibrate. Sound makes the cup vibrate. And so the cup vibrates. And the mechanical waves, which are basically waves that you can actually feel. They're mechanical. You can feel them. These mechanical waves go through the wire, and through the fishing line in our case, and vibrate the bottom of the other cup which causes the cup to vibrate, which turns back into waves that travel through the air. And so the person can hear. There's another announcement. Oh my gosh. Great. Okay. So anyways, there'll only be like four more of those before I'm done probably. So these are physical vibrations. If you were to touch the string, it would stop the physical vibration. Um, so anyways, how is it, how is it, how is this similar to a, a generator in a motor? Well, it actually is because um, a generator, what it does is it takes energy, like for instance, in this case is heat and it spins a turbine and this turbine spins this coil next to the magnet. And since the coil next to the magnet is spinning, it's causing waves of electrons to go through the wires. And so a coil spins next to a magnet and is connected to wires, which transmit electrical waves through the wires. And so this is where energy is being turned into electricity in something called a generator. And it goes through over here to your house. And so here I have a fan, and the fan is, is what's called a motor, of course. And so the electricity, so many. I'm not sure if you can hear the bell, but the bell, oh my gosh, go, drive me nuts. Okay, so um, anyways, electricity spins the coil magnet, so the coil and magnet next um, at your house, spinning a fan. And so the coil and the magnet are actually inside the fan. If you actually take a look inside your fan, you'll see it. You will see a coil, and you may or may not see a magnet. It's probably an electromagnet, which is also a magnet. Anyways, it makes the wind. The girl is nice and happy because of the motor. How has that got to do with the cup? Okay, let's go back to it now. <laughs> this is like the fourth announcement. Seriously, I wish I could turn that thing off. I can't. Okay, so now generators generate electricity, right? This is what's going on. Motors turn electricity into motion. So how is that like a phone and a speaker? So here we have a person speaking into a cup. On the bottom of the cup is a coil of wire next to a magnet. When they when they speak into that, they vibrate the cup, which vibrates the coil next to the magnet. That actually makes pulses of electricity in the wire um, because the coil is vibrating next to a magnet. What does a coil of wire next to a magnet do? It causes pulses of electricity, just like here. This coil spinning next to the magnet causes pulse of electricity. Now you're speaking. And so you're, you speaking into a cup is just like a generator. A microphone is like a generator because it takes sound energy and it generates electrical energy. And so this is mechanical energy, you speaking, and it's being turned into electrical energy. Now let's follow it. it the electrons go in waves through the wires in the same pattern that you spoke. And it is going to cause the bottom of this cup to vibrate just like you cause this vibration which causes electricity. Now the electricity is going to cause vibration in the bottom of that cup and that person We'll hear what you have to say. And so a generator generates electricity. A microphone is like a generator because it takes sound energy and generates electrical energy, mechanical energy to electrical energy. A speaker is like a motor because it takes electrical energy and it turns it into movement. So mechanical energy to electrical energy to mechanical energy. Once again, just to make sure you understand, as the electrons go through this coil, and being that the coil is next to a magnet, if this electrons are going through vibrating next to the magnet, it will actually cause the cup to vibrate. Now, the electrons going through here, these electron waves are not actually physical waves that you can feel um, and you cannot stop them by touching the wire. Um, they kind of are a physical wave because if the wire was bare and you touched it, <laughs> then the electricity would go through you and it probably wouldn't get to the end of the, the phone line. So, um, but you can't feel them like a, like an actual vibration. Um, they are electrons vibrating. And so anyways, um, 
this is the whole idea from beginning to end of how a tin can phone and a generator and a motor and a real phone is like a generator and a motor. So the part that you speak into is the generator. The microphone here is my generator. And the part that you hear from, the headphone part, the part on your ears, is the motor. So hopefully uh, that makes sense and uh, hopefully enjoy the activity with the motors and the speakers and such as well.